Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a Beauty by Earth self tanning review. These two bad boys are gonna go head to head and we are going to see how they perform side by side. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another review video. As you can tell by the title, today we are reviewing the Beauty by Earth Self Tanners. I have the lotion and I have the mousse that we will be reviewing today. I'm going to give you an in-depth, detailed review on how they both perform side by side and just also by themselves. If you are new here, my name is Amanda and I post weekly content right here on my channel. So I would love it if you would subscribe down below and always have the bell turned on so you are notified every time I upload a video. I wanted to give you two reviews in one. I thought it would be really helpful considering these are both BBE products and they're both tanners, but they're different formulas. So I thought it would be really fun to compare the two side by side and give you my thoughts on them. So on this side, we have the BBE tanning lotion. And then on this side, we have the mousse. The mousse is the most recent launch that Beauty by Earth has put out for tanning products. It is supposed to be an easier application. It's supposed to give you a sunless tan a little quicker than the lotion. I have had the lotion for a couple of years now and I have used this multiple, multiple times. So I'm pretty familiar with how this one works. This one I have used under five times. I wanna say this is my third time using the mousse, but I do know how it works now. I literally just applied these tanners before I sat down to film this video, and I did film some clips for you so you can see the consistency, the formulas, and all of that side by side. Before applying any tanner, I always deeply exfoliate my skin using a self-tanner exfoliating mitt. Once I'm done with that, I always, always lotion the areas of my body that are most dry so elbows knees ankles wrists all of that and make sure those areas have optimal hydration because that's where the tanner is going to stick the most and we don't want overdevelopment in those areas and trust me I've had that happen it happens so to reduce that always have your moisturizer on hand and apply that prior to putting your tanner on I did use a mitt to apply both tanners Mitts work the best. I don't recommend using your hands just because it's going to be very hard to get it off of your hands. Uh, and it just applies more evenly with a mitt. I will also put the ingredients on the screen so you can read what is in this. Feel free to screenshot this if you need more time to review the ingredients, but all good stuff and nothing bad in here for you. I started off by applying the mousse to the right side of my body. Literally split down the center. This also has a really good scent. It's kind of like coconuts and sunscreen. That's kind of what I smell when I'm applying this. This applies really, really nicely and it is literally gone in two seconds. I pump a good amount on my mitt and then I just start rubbing it in in circular motions and before I know it, it's literally blended in and gone. I always just keep track of where it ends so that way I'm not like missing any parts on my skin and all those those edges are blended in very nicely. So yeah, with this application, I really do enjoy the mousse. I think it's really easy to use and it feels good going on. The scent is really good and the ingredients are also phenomenal. Now moving on to the left side, I did apply the lotion. With the lotion, this is a little bit harder to blend in. You are working it in for a longer period of time, which I don't necessarily love, but at the same time, it's not like that big of a deal, but the mousse does blend in a lot quicker and a lot more easily. The scent on this is also pretty good, but I do prefer the mousse scent over the tanning lotion. It does have a slight self tanning smell to it. And I found that this one does leave that scent behind more than the mousse. And whereas with the mousse, I haven't really noticed any leftover tanning smell. These tanners are literally developing as I speak. I'm going to check in with you tomorrow to give you my thoughts on both tanners side by side and show you what my skin looks like after they're fully developed. Okay guys, so it is the next morning after applying the tanner and this is how it developed. The lotion side I feel is just slightly darker than the mousse side. So I applied the lotion on this side of my body and I applied the mousse on this side. And I don't know, it might not be showing up well on camera, but this leg 
is definitely a little darker than my right leg. What do you think? I think so. I obviously didn't put tanner on my face, but you can tell that there is a glow to my skin. My left arm definitely has more of a tan to it. Let me shut the lights off and see what the difference is in a darker, cause I'm pretty, I'm under a lot of light right now, so it is really washing me out, but I think, I don't know, I think the lotion came through on this one in the comparison. So in this lighting, you can definitely tell that this leg is not as dark as this one. Like, look at that. Is that just me? I mean, it's like the slightest bit of difference, but to me, the lotion side is darker. And I'm actually really surprised about that because when I used the mousse all over my body, I thought it was like a really decently dark tan. And now comparing the two together, I honestly feel like the lotion with one coat gives you a slightly deeper tan than the mousse on one coat. And you can definitely apply two layers of this. You can build this color up, which I do believe I'm going to do later today. I do feel like the lotion um, is slightly darker on the first coat. So that's what I think. What do you think? I like these tanners for different reasons and I definitely think that you can't go wrong with either of them. Both tanners leave a beautiful glow to my skin and they develop really nicely. On one coat, you definitely get a nice glow, but I usually follow up with another application the next day just to get that deeper looking tan. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on the Beauty by Earth tanners. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful if you are looking into getting one of these tanners or if you just wanna watch a self tanning video, I don't know. Give it a thumbs up if you did, that way I know you're enjoying these. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not already and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.